The film begins with a beautiful girl named Samantha, who attends an event at her friend's house. She is greeted by her friend named Alice. They exchange pleasantries. Alice also asks why Samantha didn't come with Nikki. Samantha explains that Nikki is busy with work and might join later. From their conversation, it is revealed that Samantha is a lesbian. Samantha's girlfriend, Nikki, is also a woman. Alice then leaves to get Samantha a glass of alcohol. While Samantha is waiting alone, she's being watched by a mysterious man. Soon after, Samantha is approached by a man named Riley, who has liked Samantha for a long time. However, Samantha has never reciprocated his feelings and always tries to avoid him. Samantha then approaches Alice, who is preparing the alcohol. Alice invites Samantha to drink together. At first, Samantha refuses, but after being persuaded, Samantha finally agrees to drink the alcohol. Strangely, though, it was Alice who insisted on drinking, yet she didn't drink herself. As Samantha starts to get drunk, she calls Nikki, who still hasn't arrived. While alone, Samantha is suddenly approached by the mysterious man from earlier. In her heavily intoxicated state, Samantha doesn't suspect anything about the man who claims to have noticed her from a distance and is attracted to her beauty. Eventually, the man introduces himself as BJ. Then, they engage in intimate activities in a car, causing it to shake. The next day, Samantha wakes up in her bed. In the room, Samantha keeps various flowers for an upcoming flower competition. As Samantha leaves her room, she is greeted by her mother. From their conversation, it is evident that Samantha and her mother do not have a harmonious relationship. After that, Samantha goes to a cafe to wait for her girlfriend, Nikki. They chat and share their thoughts with each other. Nikki also mentions that Samantha doesn't look very healthy today, but Samantha says she just has a slight headache. Later, Samantha's mother invites her to have dinner together, but Samantha declines, saying she wants to eat in her room instead. Hearing this, her mother becomes sad and insists that Samantha sit and eat with her. However, as Samantha hurries to leave, she suddenly experiences a sharp headache. On the second day, Samantha wakes up again, but this time she wakes up with a lot of blood coming from her lower body. Samantha's face also looks less fresh than the previous day. Samantha assumes it's just normal menstruation, but strangely, she also notices a rash on her lower abdomen. She quickly takes a shower to clean herself up. After showering, Samantha prepares to go to work. Her mother senses that Samantha doesn't look as healthy as usual, but Samantha just brushes it off, saying she's fine. On her way, Samantha talks on the phone with Alice. Alice mentions that early in the morning, the police came to her house. Alice also says that the police were looking for someone, and that person is suspected of attending Alice's party two days ago. The police gave information that the person's name is BJ Samantha pretends not to know when she hears this. Alice keeps saying that if she sees the man, she should contact the police immediately. This makes Alice regret inviting someone she didn't know to her house. When she arrives at work, Samantha goes for breakfast first. But Samantha starts feeling nauseous and loses her appetite. She is asked to switch and serve a customer who has just arrived. It turns out the customer is Riley. Riley deliberately comes to Samantha's workplace, just to meet Samantha. But Samantha leaves Riley right away. Then Samantha asks for permission to serve another customer. While serving the customer, Samantha suddenly hears a loud ringing in her ears. She tries to hear what the customer is saying but still can't hear it. Then Samantha asks for a break and goes to the bathroom. When she feels better, Samantha, who is also using the bathroom, is shocked to see the toilet filled with blood. Samantha panics and is confused about what is happening. Then she returns to serve customers, but suddenly Samantha experiences severe stomach pain. This makes her request to go to the doctor to check on her health. During the examination, Samantha also tells the doctor that when she woke up, she had severe stomach pain, and there was a lot of blood coming from her lower body. Immediately, the doctor checks Samantha's heart rate. The doctor says her heart rate is very slow. Samantha's ears and throat are also examined. The doctor then tells Samantha that she likely has an infection, but this infection doesn't seem to be related to the bleeding. Nervously, Samantha tells the doctor that there is a rash above her genital area. When examined, the doctor immediately asks if Samantha is sexually active. Samantha quickly replies that she only had intercourse once, and that was two days ago. In the next scene, Samantha visits Nikki's apartment because she misses her girlfriend terribly. Nikki, who has met Samantha before, 
notices that Samantha's face is getting worse by the day. But Samantha doesn't want to tell Nikki what's really happening. On the other hand, Samantha is very fond of Nikki. She is afraid that if she tells the truth, Nikki will leave her. There, Samantha also tries to seduce Nikki to have sex with her, but Nikki is not in the mood for that. Dissatisfied with Nikki's response, Samantha says she will go to Alice's house. When she arrives at Alice's house, Alice notices that Samantha's left eye is red. Samantha is confused about what is happening with her eye. Samantha doesn't feel any pain in her eye. She still thinks positively. Perhaps an insect got into her eye. Alice also suggests that Samantha go to an eye doctor. Then Samantha returns home. She notices that her eye is getting redder over time. While brushing her teeth, suddenly something seems stuck in her mouth. It turns out one of Samantha's teeth has fallen out. Immediately, Samantha feels nauseous and vomits blood. Due to her worsening health day by day, Samantha even forgets to take care of her flowers, even though she has a flower competition coming up soon. Samantha's vomiting becomes more frequent, and her mother comes in and asks what is really going on. But Samantha just tells her mother to leave. After her mother leaves, Samantha admits that she has had intercourse. To her surprise, her mother says, I'm proud of you. On the third day, Samantha falls asleep in the bathroom. She wakes up to find both of her eyes have turned completely red, but this time they are redder, like blood. While showering, she doesn't realize that a lot of her hair is falling out. Then Samantha, who wants to leave her house, surprises her mother, causing her to drop the plate in her hand. Her mother asks, what is Samantha doing? Samantha is confused. What does her mother mean? Her mother tells her that her hair is falling out, leaving bald spots. At that moment, Samantha is shocked. But since she has to leave, she wears a hat. In a panic, she heads to the doctor. But Samantha gets a call from her boss, asking her to come in briefly to serve customers. Reluctantly, Samantha agrees and starts working as usual. Coincidentally, there is an order she has to prepare. After finishing it, Samantha delivers the food to the customer. When she returns and stands still, she feels increasingly unwell. She even notices her nails becoming brittle and dull. Suddenly, there's a scream from a customer outside. It turns out the customer is shocked to find a piece of nail in their food. It's clear that the nail is Samantha's, which had peeled off. Samantha feels embarrassed and is immediately fired by her boss. Not long after, Riley approaches Samantha. Samantha tries to avoid him, saying she is going to the doctor, but Riley insists on accompanying Samantha. Riley also mentions that he saw Samantha with the mysterious man in the car that night, but embarrassed, Samantha leaves immediately. While waiting to see the doctor, Samantha receives a call from Alice. Alice tells her that the police have caught the mysterious man. The police also asked Alice if she knew who had been intimate with the man. Alice then asks Samantha if she met a man named BJ. But Samantha doesn't want to admit it. When it's her turn to be examined, Samantha immediately shows her eyes to the doctor. The doctor says this could be caused by a virus or infection. But the doctor doesn't understand what kind of disease this is. The doctor suggests it might be a rare sexually transmitted disease. So the doctor doesn't know what medication to give Samantha. Samantha is also advised to avoid sexual activity until the cause is identified. In the next scene, Samantha is on her way to the flower competition. She heads straight to the registration table to check in. The staff member says, Oh, so you're the one with the beautiful flowers? But the staff's hopes are dashed when they see the flowers Samantha brought are already wilted. The staff also asks Samantha to remove her sunglasses. Seeing Samantha's deteriorating condition, the staff hesitates to admit her. After consulting with another staff member, Samantha is not allowed to participate in the competition. Samantha, who is upset, protests to the staff, but she is still not allowed. After that, Samantha visits Nikki's apartment. Samantha knows Nikki is inside, but Nikki deliberately doesn't open the door. Finally, Nikki comes out. But strangely, Nikki immediately dismisses Samantha. Nikki says she knows everything from Alice. Alice told her about Samantha's encounter with the mysterious man and that Samantha is sick because of it. Samantha, who pleads, is still rejected by Nikki. Nikki also says she doesn't love Samantha anymore. As Nikki tries to close the door, Samantha refuses and slams the door into Nikki's face. At that moment, Samantha grabs Nikki by the throat and begins to choke her until she is lifeless. Afterwards, Samantha, 
now increasingly desperate and out of control, heads over to Alice's house. She arrives in a fit of rage, furious that Alice had exposed her secret to Nikki. From their heated exchange, it becomes clear that Samantha has long known about Alice's feelings for her. Alice admits that she intentionally told Nikki about Samantha's affair, hoping to break them up. Frightened by Samantha's worsening condition, Alice tries to keep her distance, threatening Samantha not to come any closer. But Alice's resolve falters as she confesses her love for Samantha. As they start to share a tender moment, Samantha suddenly coughs up blood onto Alice's face. Before Alice can react, Samantha bites into her neck, tearing it open. Samantha, horrified by what she has done, frantically bludgeons Alice to death. In a daze, she takes some clothes from Alice's wardrobe to change into. Then she calls Riley, asking him to come over to Alice's place. Riley, unaware of the horror that awaits, arrives eagerly. While waiting, Samantha fixes her face to avoid looking ill and hides Alice's body. As he enters, he asks Samantha if she's okay. Samantha lying assures him that everything is fine. She then begins to seduce Riley, pretending to be interested in him. Overcome by his feelings for Samantha, Riley gives in to her advances. However, during their encounter, Riley suddenly feels a sharp pain as if something is biting him. Horrified, he realizes that Samantha's body is infested with wriggling worms. Panicking, Riley runs to the bathroom to vomit. He is furious, realizing Samantha has tricked him. As he tries to clean himself up, he discovers Alice's lifeless body in the bathtub. Shocked and terrified, Riley runs out of the house. In the next scene, Samantha, now completely losing her grip on reality, drives to her mother's house. She tearfully apologizes for being a terrible daughter. Samantha, unable to control herself any longer, collapses while driving, with the car still in motion. When she awakens, Samantha has transformed into a full-fledged zombie. She begins attacking people around her, driven by an uncontrollable hunger. Her mother, devastated by the sight of what her daughter has become, the police also want to shoot her, but her mother stops them, saying that she is her daughter. She also tries to calm Samantha down and offers to embrace her. However, Samantha, now completely overtaken by the virus, bites her own mother. The screen fades to black as the tragic consequences of Samantha's fate unfold. Leaving behind a trail of destruction and sorrow, the film ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.